In this illustration, we'll uh, see a sleeve sliding on a circular rotating rod. Here we are given that a sleeve of mass m can freely slide along a smooth rod bent in the shape of a half circle of radius r. And the system is set in rotation with a constant angular velocity omega about the vertical axis o o prime. And we are required to find the angle theta for the steady position of the sleeve. It is free to slide along this rod. And here we can see as the rod rotates in the rotating frame of rod, the sleeve will experience an outward centrifugal force. And here, if we just draw the picture again, you can see this is the situation where at this angle theta from the vertical, when the system is rotating at angular speed omega, the sleeve would also be revolving in a circular path of radius small r, which is given as r sine theta. And it would be experiencing an outward centrifugal force m omega square r sine theta. And downward it is experiencing mg, its weight. And a normal reaction would be acting onto it, which will be in the direction towards center. Now here you can write in A rotating frame of rod for equilibrium of a sleeve, we use in tangential direction. If you just have a look, if this is the equilibrium position of the sleeve in this direction, it will be experiencing a force which is m omega square r sine theta cos theta. This is the cosine component of centrifugal force. And in this direction, it is mg sine theta, sine component of uh, the weight acting on it. So we use a long tangential direction This should be m omega square r sine theta cos theta should be balanced by mg sine theta. Here m and sine theta gets cancelled out and we are getting the value of cos theta is equals to g by omega square r. So the angle at which the sleeve will remain in equilibrium will be given by cos inverse of g by omega square r. This will be the final result of problem if the value of omega square r is greater than g. And if uh, omega square r is less than g, then we can see cos inverse of uh, a magnitude or uh, this argument, if it is uh, greater than 1, this will never exist. So we can write if omega square r is less than g, we can directly write there is no such a steady position will exist and we can write steady position of a sleeve will be theta is equals to zero degree. That means uh, it will remain in equilibrium at the bottom most point because if uh, cos theta is greater than one such uh, angle theta will not exist. So mg sine theta will bring the sleeve to the initial position.